you'll find yourself redirected to this page where you will be asked to enter your Wi-Fi password. Now, here is how the hacker gets the password. An evil twin attack. Yo, hey Tim is here from geekblogging.com and I'll show you today three ways to protect your Wi-Fi. Before we begin, subscribe with notifications on and follow me on my Instagram account at geek.blogging. In third position, you should think about disabling Wi-Fi protected setup. WPS has good intentions, letting you connect new devices with a button push or a pin code. But that also makes it easier for unauthorized devices to gain access. A numerical pin is easier to brute force than a alphanumeric password. In order to make sure it is disabled on your router, type in your router IP address. You will find it printed on the router itself with all the locking infos. Once you're in, go to VLAN settings and make sure it is disabled. If you leave it open, then any rooted Android phone or any person on Windows using WearCat can hack your Wi-Fi and get the password within minutes. So this should be the first step to do. Second is, you should be using WPA2 security to guard access to your router. This means your password should be long enough and complicated in order to make hard for a hacker trying to brute force it, which means he will need more powerful graphic card and time. So make sure to avoid this kind of passwords and opt for these examples that include uppercase, special characters and numbers, as well as it is a good idea to change the Wi-Fi password on a regular basis at least once in two or three months. Yes, it means you will need to reconnect all your devices again, but it also kicks off any unwelcome visitors who might be lurking. First is to prevent evil twin attack. Sometimes, while trying to connect to the internet, you find yourself redirected to this page where you will be asked to enter your Wi-Fi password. Now, here is how the hacker gets the password. An evil twin attack is a hack attack in which a hacker sets up a fake Wi-Fi network that looks like a legitimate access point to steal victims' sensitive details. Most often, the victim of such attacks are ordinary people like you and me. The fake Wi-Fi access point is used to eavesdrops on users and steal their login credentials or other sensitive informations. So in order to prevent this from happening, make sure to enter your password only on the Windows box or Mac if you have one. Also sensibilize your employees or family members too. Finally, I advise you to use a VPN. A VPN will help you to stay safe and secure online while above or keeping your private stuff private. They keep your data hidden from prying eyes one and to the other by encrypting it. In theory, hackers could penetrate your network and they will not still be able to do any harm to your system assuming that a VPN is running permanently. If you wanna get one, please use my referral link down below in order to download NordVPN, the number one VPN service in the world. And, and here is a video on why you should have a VPN on top of protecting your Wi-Fi. This is it guys, so if you want to support us, please consider using our affiliate link in the description box in order to support us. All the links used in this video will be in the description box too. Click the like button, subscribe with notifications on, and share this video with your friends. Peace out.